What's up guys, The Benthads here and welcome back to another episode of Top 100 Foot Champs Rewards. Is it an episode or is it not? I suppose it is. Um, today, once again, guys, we've got the rewards of Lewis H90 and XL Shane. You can find both those dudes in the description below. Two of the most consistent players I've seen throughout the last six to nine months. And I'm delighted to see that both of them are going to regionals. They will be the two players that I will be backing this year in regionals. I hope they do great things. Uh, and we are on Lewis's account to start. So, this was Lewis's team for the weekend league. David De Gea coming in at 337 games. Kyle Walker at 230. Ferdinand at 111. Laurent Blanc at 277. And Alexandro, the left back of dreams at 320. Raja Nangolun. What a card that actually looks to be. It's a shame he doesn't have that four-star weak foot. But other than that, that is an insane card. 91 games on that. Patrick Vieira, 88 version, 49 games on him right now. Rude Hullet, 90 rated, 230 games, 157 assists, 10, sorry, 157 goals, 106 assists. And uh, Gareth Bale coming in with a big 73 goals, 41, sorry, wow, 73 games, 41 goals, 26 assists. Alessandro Del Piero, the untradeable icon um, Lewis got out of his first monthly top 100 rewards, 291 games, 134 and 135. And Cristiano Ronaldo there. 391, 472, 274, insane stats. So that is his main team. I assume he switches to a 4 1 2 1 2 in game. On the bench, Alessandrini, not bad, not great. Jesus, not bad, not great. And Hyung Min Son, only 11 games played with Hyung Min Son. That is interesting. On the bench, he's got Taliso, another absolute machine. Those stats are outrageous. That is a really, really good card. Uh, Bartra there as well. And then when we look in the club for Lewis, there's some 83s and 84s. When we look at special cards, all these red cards, I suppose he used a lot of his reds to help get the prime icon uh, Ferdinand um, in there and probably also used the other icon that he packed from monthlies. I can't remember who it was, but I'm sure he used those. Now, Lewis finished this month, uh, this week, sorry, 27th in the world. I believe that is 39 and 1. Not quite the 40 wins this week. 150,000 coins. One ultimate team of the week pack. Three 100k packs. That puts them up to 2.6 million coins. And of course, guys, we still have team of the group stage in packs. So with that being said, let's hope that these 100k packs yield that little blue bar. No blue bar to start with, but there could still be blues in here. Sometimes the walkouts trump the blue cards. Italian, centre-back, Juventus, it's Barzagli. It's never Chiellini, is it? So we get an 85 bars in the first 100k pack. Not the, w excuse me, not the worst of starts. Not the greatest. Dost Valero, not bad. Few 83s in there. Generally speaking, not the greatest of all packs, but not the worst. Three 83s and 85 and some good 82s in there. Not so shabby at all. Next up, we have 100k pack number two. Come on, EA, let's get that blue flare. Let's get that icon flare. Sorry, what? This is 24 gold players. And we don't even get a board? EA, stop it. That's outrageous. Rojo is okay. Oh, that's bad. That is one of. If not, the worst 100k pack I have ever seen. 100k pack number three. Yeah, you owe something here. That was crazy. All right, we get a board. Is it going to be a big player? Is it going to be like Kozola? Swedish? It's Forsberg. Oh, that was Ebra. I'd been happy days. Could have had some special cards in there, some more big cards in there. Lewis's luck is not in today. We get Forsberg as our face card player. So Barzagli coming in at the 85 is the biggest. There's some 83s in there, not bad. Mandzukic, Aspas, Fabinho and Forsberg. Not the end of the world. Definitely better than pack number two, but generally speaking not the greatest. Now the team of the week isn't the best this week, but there are quite a few players that are sellable. The one that you really want, obviously, is Hyung Min Son and Handanovic. Let's see if we can get close to getting either of those two. It pops out. It's Mares, not bad, 85 rated. Does that mean Son's not in it? Oh, 86 rated. Oh, wow. Let me go into Footbin. Let's have a look at this team of the week. Okay, so 
actually, Mahrez is 86 rated, then Otamendi and Son are also 86 rated. Everybody else is lower rated and Handanovic is 89. So there's a possibility that we do still have Hyung Min Son and um, Otamendi in here. Mahrez is coming in at 140,000 coins. He's actually the third most expensive player that you can get behind Handanovic and behind Hyung Min Son. We've got a hope for Hyung Min Son in here as well, otherwise this is going to be a bust pack. Come on EA, hook it up. Yes! Yes! What a pack! That could not have gone better. All three 86s are in here. Hyung Min Son is there. Otamendi is there. Mares is there. Quincy Promes is there. He's a big player too. The rest of them are trash bags. Who did we miss out on? We missed out on Fernandez. We missed out on Saul. We missed out on Abubakar, Bonaventura, Belanda, Altador, and Meza. But this guy is, is an in. Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills, and welcome back to the Road to For Champions RTG Edition, more like number one in the world edition. Wait, what? It's been a long time since we were in the battle for number one in the world. If you guys remember, for like a month straight, we got number two in the world, and then I started like slacking, slacking, playing ultimate, only doing really bad, not really doing that good, and your boy was slacking. But now we are back in the race. Matter of fact, in this video, you are gonna see us hit that number one spot. The battle we're in with the top four guys guys is crazy one of them a viewer of the channel one of them the guy that beat me in the weekend league we got so much to talk about yo if you play squad battles smash a thumbs up i guarantee this video's gonna get like 20 or 30 thousand likes because so many of you guys tweet me uh, like questions about weekend league i'm um, excuse me squad battles how are you doing it how are you getting it done how are you getting top 10 how is this happening and today i'm gonna show you a set this is this is the newest set like thursday night set when i'm making the video so this is thursday set um i'm gonna show you how i did it i'm gonna show you exactly where we stand after the set and yes i am playing on ultimate Begovic, Koscielny, Valencia, uh, the boy right card, Alexandro, our brand new signing Alexandro, Hullet, Sonaldo, we got Moy, I believe that's how you say his name, he's playing center mid instead of Anthony Martial, I explain in just a minute, Alessandrini, Vieira, and the boy Anthony, uh, excuse me, Ren Cristiano Ronaldo, now, bros, I either go into a 4 one 2 one 2 narrow, or 4-3, uh, one, two. I play with two strikers being Ronaldo and Sonaldo. Alessandri is going to be my cam in the middle. Hullet, Vieira, and Moy. That's why Anthony Martial is not starting. You guys know in the weekend league, I play 4 2 3 1, which has two CDMs. But when I'm playing against Ultimate, or if I'm even playing against Legendary, I want attackers. I want to be able to score a lot of goals. The 1 2 is clutch. Online, you know, the 1 2s, a lot of people know how to defend it. The CPU does not know how to defend it. You know, you got the ball with Sonaldo, send it to Ronaldo, make Sonaldo make that run, send it right back to you. You're in there like swimming where you're banging in goals. So Booyah Nation, I, I thought it would be fun to kind of give you guys a little bit of tips and also just show you guys where we're at and what we're doing i mean so much of this channel is me just popping up rewards and you guys going damn skills you got like top 10 again that's sick but let me show you a set i i, I stopped i used to show you guys a set and i stopped showing you guys weekend league i mean squad battle so let me show y'all set a lot of people don't see this as a respectable game mode some of y'all do see it as a respectable game mode i'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you hold it viera ronaldo none of that is attainable without this game mode right here this game mode has made us millions of coins we're pretty much farming coins we're farmers in this mode you're probably like, wait, we, we're farming coins, we're, we're farming corners, we're farming shots, we're farming goals, we're farmers, baby. We out here farming, uh, and, and, and that's what it is, yo. This this mode for us on this on this road of glory has been printing coins. Um, we, we stay top 100 every single time. We're blessed to be able to do that. And now I'm kind of in this battle um, for the number one spot. And what I've done, bros, is something I really want to talk about. Um, for the last three weeks, I have played on Ultimate. This one being we're just into the third week. Week one, we got 12th in the world. Week two, we got 10th in the world. And week three, we are now in the battle for number one in the world. Um, matter of fact, we are going to hit number one in the world in this video. Now, with all that being said, what did I do? Not only did I change the Vieira and Hullet, but I think one of the biggest differences, which is an absolute BS difference, is Begovic to Loris. And, and you're going to be like, wait, what do you mean? So I had Loris for two weeks, and he was outstanding. I loved him in the weekend league. I loved him in squad battles. Unfortunately, EA screwed over Loris um, because of his height. And, and this is what I want to talk about. If you're 6'6", are you automatically a great goalie? 
The answer is no. In real life, Lodis is a better keeper than a lot of 6-6 six, six keepers. Lodis is one of the best keepers in the EPL. Um, now, Neuer, De Gea, these guys are massive tall keepers and they're best in the world. But their height is a factor, but it's not why they're the best in the world. Their reflexes, their positioning is why they're the best in the world. But in FIFA, it seems like you need to have a big keeper that's 6-6. Six, six. Uh, Farman's humongous. De Gea's humongous. Begovic is humongous. You see what I'm saying? Every keeper that I just named that's overpowered, they're tall. They're massively tall. Their stats don't even matter. They're just tall. And with, with Loris and goal, Ultimate was scoring these headers, right? They would cross the ball in. They would head the ball, and they would do this chip. And Loris could never jump high enough to tip it out of bounds. Begovic has done it massively, right? For the past three weeks, when I had Loris, the past two weeks, I think I kept one clean sheet in all the sets on Ultimate. What you are watching today is you've already watched the clean sheet with Begovic in goal. Yes, now with Loris and De Gea, bros. I mean, excuse me, with the with Hullet and 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 Vieira. Yeah, we're stopping a build-up play before it gets to the. Let's be honest, we're stopping a build-up play. They're not getting to us the way they used to get to us. That's 100% certain. But at the same time, we go to a lesser overall keeper, and this guy is saving everything and keeping clean sheets like it's nobody's business. I ain't mad at it. I'm just saying it's kind of dumb that EA's made the keepers be overpowered just because they're height. So you get the right stats, you get the height, and now all of a sudden you have a great keeper. It's kind of annoying, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Does being a tall keeper in real life make you the best? Does it make you great because you're tall? Or do you think there's more to it? For me, I think there's more to it, and hopefully EA can figure out a factor to balance out like small keepers to tall keepers. But... In this game here, bros, this is the first game that we're going to mess up pretty much all week. Um, and it's crazy, right? Because we are up 3-0 against Ultimate 55 minutes in. And that's exactly what you want. Let me give you some tips real quick. First of all, in the 4 one in the 4 one 2 2 narrow, I always struggled against the 4-4-2 flat. In the last game, I went into the 4-3-1-2, and I was able to smack them 6-0. In this game, I was smacking them 3-0 up until the 70th minute when Griezmann scores a goal. And that's going to be it. After that, I was unable to find any more goals, which really, really sucks. But I wasn't mad. Why wasn't I mad? Because all week last week, up until this point, bro, I think I had three losses already on Ultimate. I have zero losses this week. Because my mindset is this. Last week, bros, if it was, if I was up 3-1 um, and it was the 80th minute, 85th minute, I would give them two goals to go to X.